Thank you, you guys. This is John. Oh, just John, to be honest. DJ Johnny Boy, John. You can call me whatever way you want. I really don't mind. Uh, so my opinion, uh, well, not opinion. My, uh, what I've recently found is some journal or blog. Yeah, it's a blog, sorry. It's a blog where this American that lived for three years in Brazil with an, um, a Brazilian wife he's got. I don't know if he has kids or not. He posted this anonymous yeah, it's, he's anonymous, so nobody knows who he is, but he posted 20 reasons why he didn't like his stay in Brazil. And I have to say, uh, also, just before I say it out loud, uh, another person uh, in the forum uh, added uh, 20 other reasons why not to like Brazil, and unfortunately, I do agree with them. I really do. I mean, I've lived there for the past 11 years, so it was almost like, it's more than a half of my life there, so I'm just going to show you here really fast. It's uh, here. I'm going to put the link of this website below if you are interested in reading. It is in Portuguese, by the way, you guys. This uh, American, he is fluent in Portuguese, so he all his reasons are in Portuguese. So I do suggest that I'm also going to put a, a Google Translator link in case you guys are fond of reading it, but you can't understand it. And yeah, I just have to say, I agree with the guy, and that's my opinion. I really don't... I also do not really... I didn't really like my stay in Brazil I mean yes yeah, some I went to a lot of parties and clubs and all um, allegedly it's illegal I don't care well basically every reason the guy said I've read them all to be honest all 40 of them and I have to say I really do agree with them I mean that's basically what happens to your life uh, this number one here Brazilians do have do not have considerations to people outside their circle of uh, friends, and many times they're simply rude. For example, a neighbor would play a loud music for the whole night, and even if you go there politely asking them to turn it down, they're gonna say "fuck you," and that's a really basic education. I think it's simple. The bit uh, sorry, and uh, because uh, when somebody does that to you, I mean you'd expect that. And people, you have to do that. And I do remember once I was doing a house party in my house. I have you know, a lot of friends over. And then these neighbors, they're like... Uh, firstly, they said, please turn down the music. And then I did. I turned down the music. But not a lot, just a little. And then uh, the l music, I would admit, was still pretty loud. But then the second time, the woman said, please, I've asked you already. Please turn down the, f the music. So I did turn it down even more. And that was like already half of what it was because uh, the... I was regulating on my phone, and then for the third time, she came back and said, please turn down the motherfucking music. And then I, st almost, I started yelling at them, yelling at them, and they didn't understand, because the bitch, basically, would do parties every fucking week, and I wouldn't complain. I actually do have a video on YouTube also, uh, I won't put a description if you want to find that, go look for yourself. Uh, go look for it yourselves, but it was when they were doing a party. It was pretty early, but I can't really complain about the noise back then, but at the time, but yeah. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Please have a look around. I really do suggest you do. I find it really enlightening to the Brazilian way of life. So yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye.